Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to solve a problem regarding operating system and uh, CPU scheduling and I'll focus on uh, non-preemptive shortest job first scheduling algorithm. As you see we've got four processes P1, P2, P3, P4 and we've got the arrival times 0, 2, 3, 5 and the burst time. What we need to do, we need to find the average waiting time and average turn run time. Um, this is important to uh, uh, know that this is non-preemptive algorithm. It means that we can't stop any process when they got CPU. They got access to CPU, so they need to finish their burst time and then leave the CPU. The most important thing is the timeline for the arrival. I always use that. It helps me to understand what's going on between my processes. Second one, second two, second three, second four, and second millisecond five. P1 arrives here at millisecond zero. P2 arrives at millisecond two. P3 arrives at millisecond three. And P4 arrives at millisecond five. What I need to do next is to create the GAN chart for this question. Uh, it's better to actually show the process on the GAN chart as well. It helps you to understand what's going on. This is P1, this is P2, this is P3, and this is P4. It means that this is second zero, this is second two, second three, and second five. Okay, what I do, I start. We are at second zero and p1 is there non-preemptive we can't stop that so p1 go to the end of its burst time five millisecond it means that it leaves here the next one and now we are in second five p2 p3 and p4 all of them are arrived and they are there and we need to choose between them who is the shortest so between this is gone between p 2p3 and p4 as you see the shortest one is p1 between 1 7 and 3 so sorry p2 which is one millisecond so p2 gets cpu time and uh, uh, it goes one millisecond it leaves at millisecond six now we need to choose between uh, the shortest one between p3 and p4 who is the shortest p3 or p4 so definitely p4 is the shortest it needs because it's three milliseconds it means that it leaves at second nine and the last one which is p3 uh, which it needs seven millisecond nine plus seven is 16 it means that p3 leaves at millisecond 16. So what we need to do, if you want to find the average waiting time and average turnaround on time, we need to complete this table. The first column I need to add to this one is the exit time. How to find the exit time? Always start from right to left, not left to right, because in that case, you don't make any mistake. So P3 leaves at millisecond 16, then P4 leaves at millisecond 9, P2 leaves at millisecond 6, and P1 leaves at millisecond 5. The next column that I need is turnaround time. Turnaround time. By definition, turnaround time is exit time minus arrival time. It means that I need to subtract these two columns for uh, arrival time. So exit minus arrival. 5 minus 0 is 5. 6 minus um, 2 is uh, 4. 16 minus 3 is 13 and 9 minus 4 is 5 and the next one the next column i need is waiting time which by definition waiting time is turnaround time minus burst time it means that i need to subtract these two columns the green ones so 5 minus 5 is 0 it makes sense because p1 didn't wait it at all uh, didn't wait at all so as soon as it arrived it got cpu time 5 milliseconds and bang on finish it leaves the next one um, um, process 2 4 minus 1 is 3 um, it makes sense as you see because it drives at second two, but it got CPU time at second five. It waited for three milliseconds. Similar to that, seven minus uh, thirteen minus seven is six, and four minus three is one. We found all of them. The only thing we need to do is to find the average waiting time. So average waiting time easy. Just 
find the average of this color which is 0 plus 6 plus uh, 3 sorry 0 plus 3 plus 6 plus 1 divided by 4 which is 2.5 millisecond and uh, next one turnaround time I need to find the average of this column so average of turnaround time which is 5 plus 4 plus 13 plus 4 divided by 4 which equal with 6.5 millisecond uh, that was the uh, uh, question regarding non preemptive shortest job first numerical example and I try to explain it uh, step by step I hope I've managed to do so thank you very much